Hi everybody, it's Deb from d, &D Art Gallery. Hope you're all doing well today. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm doing a voiceover today for this um, video and I have a 12 by 12 inch canvas here and I'm going to be doing a cupping and covering technique. Here I'm just showing you uh, one of the paints. As you can see, I've left it on the thicker side. I will list all my paints um, in the description, there is quite a few of them. And I can tell you that my pouring medium today is different. <clears throat> it's 60% uh, Floetrol, 30% Mod Podge, and 10% GAC 800. And here I've just layered my cup with all my paints, and I'm just doing a dirty pour on my 12 by 12 inch canvas. As you can see, um, I did put down a very light layer of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And, uh, and now I'm just torching my paints. I was inspired by Lam, L-A-M, of Heartfelt um, Artistry. And I will link her um, name of her channel in my description. Here, this is the covering part of this technique. I am covering my uh, colored paints with the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And you do want to leave a little bit of the um, underlying paint showing through, as I am doing there. And now I'm just going to start the tilting process. And the paint does move slowly because it is so thick. You really don't have to at this point be that concerned about um, how, your, how your painting looks because you are going to be doing some more techniques on top of this it being the cupping and um, I'm going to be doing some balloon kisses and some balloon rolls um, also on this painting. I'm just trying to get the paint over the edges here and over the corners. As you can see a lot of that um, underneath colors are coming through there with just a little bit of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White on top. And here it's just the last corner I'm trying to cover. And I did get that done. <clears throat> like I said, composition wise, at this point you don't have to be too worried about it because it's going to look nothing like this when I'm all finished. Although this does look pretty to me. Okay, and the next step to this is I'm going to take the cup that I used. Oh, well, right now I am uh, giving it a torch just to get some, some of the air bubbles out before I start the next stage of this painting. And I did see a few um, things in my paint that did not belong there, so it's better to get them out early than later. And here I am taking that cup that I used for my uh, dirty pour. And as you can see, I'm just pulling the cup lid through the paint and also touching the cup down and twirling it. And this is what is called the cupping technique. And if you get a chance, you should uh, go and watch Lamb of Heartfelt Artistry. She's very good at this technique. And again, here I'm just running the lip of that cup through the paint, giving it more dimension more for the eye to look at.
And I am very happy with the colors that I chose for this painting. Um, a lot of these colors are made up colors that I combined two or more paints with to get the desired um, result. And I especially like the, um, let's see, the violet. Okay, and here I'm using a little water balloon and I'm starting the um, balloon kisses. And in some spots, I had to do it quite a few times because that paint is thick and it is still very wet. And if you just dab the paint with your balloon, it'll fill right back in again with paint. Here I'm just using my finger to run like a little stem up on a, on a flower that I'm making. I find doing these balloon kisses a lot of fun. And just the, the whole process of this I find very rewarding and here I put some paint actual paint on the end of my balloon and this is the way you can add paint and there I just did a little bit I'm doing some balloon rolls there And back to some balloon kisses. Oh, here and here I am adding more paint because I wanted that color to show up in that area. That's what you can do. You can be selective with what color you want to add to a certain area. So I dipped my balloon enough times to get the paint thin enough and then I just added that um, that violet color there. That paint is actually a DecoArt 24 karat gold with Liquitex soft body violet. Again, looks like I'm adding some blue and that light um, that light green and drawing out with my finger drawing out little stems again again adding some more paint here And just playing around with the edge there with the balloon. And here do, I'm doing some more balloon rolls. And back to the balloon kisses. Uh, there is an, another artist that is really good at balloon kisses and balloon rolls is Heather Mater. That's M-A-D-E-R of Heather Mater Art. So if you ever get a chance, check out her channel also. She does some really beautiful balloon rolls and some balloon kisses. And she also gave me inspiration to, to learn that technique. Again, just using my finger to draw some paint down. Just picking areas where I think a flower would look nice. And I am wiping that balloon off between each dip there. Well, just about each dip. And I brought a little bit of blue up that time. 
that looks very nice there. And very soon I'll bring you down for a close-up. I think I'm just going to do a few more here and then I will bring you down for that close-up. I'm getting pretty um, satisfied here with what I've done so far. Okay, off camera I did a lot more um, balloon kisses and balloon rolls as you can see in the close-up. And this is the uh, left side of the painting here, just going down the left-hand side, adding a lot more color, lots of balloon rolls there, especially in here. And now I'm kind of taking you up the middle. And I added a lot of that lighter green color in there. Copper. The violet. Very pretty. This is the upper right-hand corner here. And just going down the right-hand side. I did play with this painting quite a bit off camera. And here is the lower right hand corner. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you share it. If you haven't subscribed, that would be great if you subscribe. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.